Drake actually popped out at a Party Next Door concert in Toronto. Man, bro. So this is a sidebar, but I went to tw see 21 Savage in Toronto in May. And he had two shows, right? Mm -hmm. There was one on Friday and one on Monday. But you, oh, <laughs> okay. I went on Friday. You know what's crazy too? I went to two Travis shows in Toronto too. Drake didn't go to any of them, okay? I was expecting this. You know the song Company with Drake and Travis? Yeah. This motherfucker played that. And you know what? I saw everyone take their camera and go like this. Because they, they thought the boy was going to pop out. That motherfucker didn't come. And then I went again to see Travis. No Drake. No Drake. Motherfucker. This guy Travis on, on the first show. I got a surprise for y'all next time. Fuck you. Fuck you. He brought out Nava when he wants to take a piss. <laughs> but, um. God, it would been so funny. He brought Nav. <laughs> and then, so I went to the 21 Savage concert that Friday. It was cool. 21 Savage was cool. Loki. Jid was there too. That that went crazy. Like Jid, oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jid had a clue. That's the second time I've seen him perform because he opened. For he's still opening, which is crazy. Which that is. A, I feel like he could do. I know he should. Maybe it's just not his name. Yeah, maybe, you could maybe I, that that could just be it. Yeah, like if you did like smaller venues, he yeah, could definitely absolutely. Yeah, um, but so yeah, and then and then Toyo Savage, well, the fucker said the same thing, bro. He's like, I'll see some of y'all Friday. I got a surprise for you, or Monday, bro. I'm on Instagram. Or my boys there. My boys there actually at the concert. Sends me a snap. I open it. The caption just says Drake. And he zooms in. Drake's at the concert. But I want to kill myself, bro. I can't lie. I want to see Drake live so bad. Like, I can't. Like, I'm not even trying to glaze. And then Party Next Door, he he popped out at, it's a, um, there's a um, venue in Toronto called Budweiser Stage. Um, I don't even know what's still called. It might be called something different. I don't know. But Drake showed up too, bro. And then he announced that him and PND have an album coming out in the fall. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, a collab? Yeah. Like an R and B. When did he not? When did he not? Since like at the concert, he said he was like he was like he was, he was like ladies, they all enjoy your summer, but when it gets colder, me and me and okay, P and D got okay, something for y'all. Like, because like you know, like niggas just be saying shit. Bro. He said we got a project for y'all. That's I know, but hey, hey, bro, let man drink. <laughs> I can't be delusional for a bit. <laughs> I'm so all right, all right. So because with the Joel Drake thing, you know, people are still. Just uh holy fuck, bro. The discourse has been the discourse has been absolutely bro. People are some people are trying to act like Drake is like this, like like Satanist. Say number one, Satanist. Number two, number another thing I don't like about this beef, it is like normalized pedophilia. Yeah. And not like normalized it is in like like pedophilia is like like the like main source of like content for a lot of people now. Like the guy Vitaly. Have you seen that shit? Where like Akon rocks like um, you put law, and, uh, and Brooke, like, okay, but like that, like, I don't, do you realize how insane that is? I don't know. It's, it's, it's crazy. Like, 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 I don't, I don't feel bad for the people that are trying to like meet up with like underage people, but it's like, it's, a, it's, a, it just, I don't know. It just makes me uncomfortable. But I still, like, well, I think what, like, the main thing is like a lot of people are using it as clicks now. Yeah. It's like, it's a legit you, issue, bro. People, as people have like genuine trauma from people that do this stuff. So, and people are using it as a way to make content. Yeah. Oh, we're catching, it's like, Fucking throw shopping for like, like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. And like, I feel like the content is taking precedence over the legal action. Yeah, and they're that, just that, doing that. it to fuck with them. Yeah, instead of like, instead of like getting them like, out of, whether it be like mental help or like, call the police, let them deal with it. Like, bro, you're not the law, bro. You're just some dude. Yeah. So and like, or I don't even know. If, like, that's the main thing. Or if like brownie points, like, oh yeah, I caught. It's like, bro, like, but you didn't really catch yeah, the main. They went home. You gotta get them like locked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or get like let them get help, bro, yeah. or something, whatever it is. But um, anyway, let's get into the actual story. So, um, so Kendrick is a top dog. Drake is a top dog. They beefed, and Drake lost. Now, for some reason, everyone thinks they can beef Drake. Yeah. Fucking JPEG Mafia. Let's let's start there first. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. We'll we'll go further back. <laughs> yeah. Lil, Lil Yachty is talking about <laughs> like first of all, the glazing was Krispy Kreme esque, brother. That shit was crazy. So wait, there was that one tweet, or or not tweet, but it was like an interview I think you had, where you said like, he pro like people are just mad, he fu probably fucked everyone with bitch. I'm like, oh, okay. all right, bro, please. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, Drake wasn't even bothered. Motherfucker, if someone called me a PDF, whatever, I would be a little ticked off, bro. So that was another thing. And then Lil Yachty the next day was like, I'm leaving the internet. Fuck you. Also, I don't like Lil Yachty. I like Lil Yachty. I don't like him. I love, I love, I've always liked Lil Yachty. No, nah, I don't like him. Fuck him. Like, and then, so, last week, we didn't get to talk about this because obviously we didn't record. Um, uh, Mustard dropped his album called Father of, a, Father of a Mustard Seed, some shit like that. And then, um, so he had, a, he had a feature. There was a lead single with Travis on it. And then there was like murmurs that 
ooh, Kendrick might be on the album, right? Um, Cause he did, he produced Not Like Us, right? So, and then when Mustard dropped the track list, there was a hidden song. So motherfuckers like, ooh, Kendrick's gonna be on it. So much of playing up, playing around a little, right? He's like, he's letting people believe Kendrick's gonna be on it. Kendrick wasn't on it. Sells 18K first week, <laughs> okay? Goes on Twitter. Okay, double, let's double let's card, double cardboard. And yeah, first of all, he sold less than Ice Spice, so um, do what you want with that. Um, then he goes on this fucking insane Twitter rant about about um about Drake being the white Malcolm X or some shit. Let's just read these real quick, shall we? Okay, let's scroll back a little. Um, um, up, right? Oh, maybe she deleted them. You you should have. He no, said it's right there. He said, "Album <laughs> sales are a form of white supremacy." You niggas racist. <laughs> And then, and, then, and, then, and then he said, it's only racist for the album <laughs> yeah. <And> he said, <laughs> <laughs> So um, some guy replied, some guy replied, it's only racist when your album flops. If your album sold well, you'd be flexing your sales. Which is true. I feel like that's true. And then he, then he said, your name is Thomas. This has, oh, your name is Thomas. Not L L F and then, then Mustard tweets, <laughs> this, this was the beginning of the crash out. Drake is the Malcolm X of white people. And that academics, make sure you post Gordo season first week. Since Drake thought he did a thing with making him drop the first days. First of all, Goro was like an unknown house producer. So obviously, you're fucking mustard. You're one of the most popular producers in the industry. Whether you have two, whether Goro had two Drake features or not, it's a low-key Drake thing. Motherfuckers aren't chronically online. And then um <laughs> then then Drake tweets or mustard tweets, these Drake po these Drake bots are the nation of Drizlon. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? These bots try to fade me. <laughs> stream the album or I'm gonna be a bot. Your choice. Nobody streaming your shit. I'm not mad. I'm at my son's basketball game. They was hooping and they just won. I figured I'd fade some bots. I'm so grateful. A bot can never make me ungrateful. Lol, fuck y'all thought. And then Travis, okay, whatever. I don't care. No one cares. They started retweeting people glazing the album. Look, look, look. Kendrick and Mustards still have the number one record in the world right now. Fact look, look at this glaze. That's, Jay that Jason Martin's glazing though. No offense, Jason Martin, you're glazing. Anyway, then we had some more crash outs. There was another, so who was it? DJ Scheme, right? Right? <laughs> this guy goes to, this guy does a show in Toronto and plays Not Like Us and people are bumping. And motherfuckers are like, oh, they went to Toronto and Not Like Us played and they bumped it. It's a, it's a good song. And then fucking Schoolboy Q and DJ Scheme and so they're having a fucking glaze off in the fucking, on Twitter. And Schoolboy Q tweets, ha 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 ha. Shut your bitch ass up, bro. You didn't even... That shit made me mad because, and then, okay, that, that, that was one thing, right? So Schoolboy Q tweets that, and motherfuckers are like, bro, you're, you're weird, bro. Like, you're weird. And then Sir's, Sir's thing got canceled. Which is funny because, like, he was like, I should ain't canceled. Yeah, so his, his got canceled. Um, so that, those two got canceled. DJ Skinny plays not like us, whatever. And then um, Schoolboy Q was like, like, motherfuckers are like, it's like, if we're playing basketball, you drop 50 points in a win, and I act like I did it. That's what they're doing. That's what all these guys are doing right now. They're like, oh, can't can, can you be Drake? Can't you be Drake? So I be Drake. It's like, no, like, people might misconstrue what you're saying, but that's literally like how, that's literally what's happened. Because Kendrick, Kendrick, bro, you Kendrick, guys didn't do look, it. Yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick had his team that helped him, but Kendrick is the one that did everything. Like, yes. No, but like, everyone else that had the problem with Drake are acting like they are also a part of the win. And it's so crazy to me because it's like, the, like, like, the beef was basically just, just between Kendrick and Drake. Right? Yes, that, so was, then, that was it. So then when people were at <laughs> top of it, acting like, like Kendrick was like on their, si on their side as well. Like, oh yeah, like, no, like bro, he doesn't even like. Also, Kendrick, Kendrick didn't do anything when Q's concert got canceled or when Sir's concert got canceled. And he didn't even like repost Mustard's yeah. album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, part of that could be because he's, I, I, I know he's no longer, I don't think he's no longer side CD. Or, uh, Wait, but that, those are supposed to be one of us. I know, I know, I know. Mustard, like, especially. Yeah, I know, but like, I, that, it could, like, I don't know what, if, um, like, any bad. No, but why are you I, blazing him so hard? I, say, I don't know if there, if there is. I still, I don't know if there's any bad blood between all. I don't, I don't think there. I don't think there is. The way, the way Schoolboy Q's glazing him, I'm, I'm sure there isn't any. Um, but I, but I just don't know because like the whole everything that kind of happened. Yeah. So it, it could be something that he just or he just doesn't give. Or can you? But he also not very active on social media. Yeah. Can you just aside? But even then, like he, even when he was making the song, he wasn't active. With he would literally just post them on holiday. Yeah. yeah. Like he doesn't like people were like, bro, he literally had a song. He's like, I'm ducking the pandemic. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm been ducking social gimmicks. I'm been ducking the overnight agonists. And then um, so now we're caught up. I say no. We 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 timed it a little. JPEG Mafia. This is Drake on his new album. Some shit he said. 
Um, and then he people were like, "What the fuck, bro?" And then JPEG Mafia, let's 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 do this, this now. This is, let's like, do this I, now. I, I didn't even know JPEG had a problem with Drake. I mean, I, mean, I guess just industry niggas. I, I let's do this. Let's do this, shall we? So I, he, don't, I don't. He tweets. Read this because I can't say the words. <laughs> All right, first off, <laughs> yo, sorry. Okay, first off, I've been dissing that nigga since 2016. Those shits was throwaway bars, not, not noteworthy. Second off, if anybody got a problem with what I said on this album, my tour dates in bio. Third, y'all can't even pay your rent, but defending Drake for free goes five of pizza. And then I, I quote you this, and I was like, dissing Drake since 2016, and nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. I know. Like, this this is my issue. Kendrick beat Drake, and I'm not fucking thinking thing, like Drake is just like, like free reign, y'all can do whatever you want. Uh, I didn't even just said, like, I didn't even know he had a problem with. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm and saying, I, dude. I, like, I feel, also, bro, got a problem. Tordy to about. No, let's go on your fucking show. <laughs> Fuck you. Shit, that shit. You know what? I'm okay. This is gonna sound like I've been glazing Drake this whole segment, but I feel like I feel like people are genuinely disrespecting him. People are forgetting because like Drake's still that guy, bro. He lost to Kendrick Lamar. You know what I mean? It's like it's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like Curry losing to LeBron. You know what I mean? It's just like the light skin guy lost to the dark skin guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's one. <laughs> no, nah, because it was like think about it, right? Like Warriors won those championships. And they were like hype about it, and then LeBron or Kendrick came in there like, hey, let's 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 relax a little, <laughs> right? And then they stepped in, they beat the light skin guy, and now it's like motherfuckers start disrespecting them. So. I just want to say, these TDE motherfuckers, bro, they're glazing a little too hard. They're glazing a little... Like, what do you think about, like, the whole thing? I mean, my main... Like, it's just... Like, if, to be honest, like, I... I never really, like, give a fuck about, like, all these... Like, everyone points to the at Drake. Like, everyone... People have been... Do, they've been doing the windows at Drake for, like... I'm, I'm also not saying Drake's innocent. Just so I'm not, not... But it's, like... Like I like I said I like JP Crawford music I like didn't even really know like he was distant like I it didn't or not that I didn't know but it's still been doing it in, for eight years but it didn't it never really okay like, also 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 he said y'all defending Drake for free <laughs> bro you've been dissing him for eight years and no one cares you like do you, Drake doesn't even know who he is okay he probably does he, he probably does but like do you think Drake pays attention no but that's but that's the thing but like, I don't what I'm trying to get at is like. There's mo there's probably more to like that we're missing returning like the industry because like why is everyone like what is JPEG Mafia's like problem with Drake? I don't know what I mean. No, I don't know. That's like the main thing I want to fucking. What was everyone's what problem is, with Drake? What is, what is JPEG Mafia's problem with Drake? What's I don't, like his problem know. with Drake? What what's, is what's what? Future's problem with Drake? Yeah, ASAP Rocky tried going back at him. I don't know, like he Drake cooked him on Family Matters. What's the weekends? Okay, the weekend I kind of see it. Future was like the weirdest one. But, like, but what I'm saying is like, what, what it like, I, cause obviously, like I said, there's like more to it within like the actual media. Yeah, we don't know. Artists in the industry. Yeah, we don't know. We just see the shit on Twitter or through the music, right? We don't, we're not actually involved. What the fuck? Why are niggas, why does everyone just hate, like, like Kendrick, like, the, the, cause the thing is what you said, right? Kendrick, <laughs> this is Drake and everyone felt like it was free right. But this, this didn't happen with fucking Pusha T. No. When Pusha T exposed Drake for having a, a child, right? Yeah. The, first of all, he wasn't really like he wasn't really hate like he was kind of hating, obviously, but like that like Kendrick was just straight up saying I hate Drake, but now because of that, it felt like people have free reign to like, oh yeah, I've always hated this nigga. That's like, but I, I just don't understand. Like, I, stand, I, stand on it earlier, bro. Yeah, but like I also don't understand why. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not I, getting I, it. I don't get it. I don't get it. T's problem with Drake make, is something that was like like that made sense. The whole situation. With um, I believe it was like with Will, with Will Wayne. Like I remember, yeah, it was a whole thing that that made sense, right? Or even like Drake and Meek Mill, that beef, that all made sense. Because Meek Mill said he had goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like those, I understand. These way, like like I think Ken Kendrick just hates him. J yeah, Kendrick just hates him. That I think I think Kendrick doesn't like that. I think Kendrick thinks he's so much better than Drake, and he doesn't like when people put them on the same like tier. I get, I mean, that's probably what it is with the whole like um, with when J Cole, like the big three yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my main thing is like so, uh, with Kendrick. Just comes out like blatantly, just like starts saying all these bad things about Drake. Yeah, like, like to like a to like a tenth degree. Like he was just going crazy. It is like because this is the first time Drake really got truly like disrespected. You know? What yeah. I mean? Like even Push D, like he posed you at something. But it wasn't like I don't think. Bro, there's 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 between like saying like you have a you have a son that you're hiding and calling saying that you like underage. Yeah. Like <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a very, holy fuck, very big difference between that and uh, saying he, people like him should die. Well, people like I mean if you know like I guess yo okay another thing like like. 
okay, sure, there's like, like you know that bar in Nice World where Drake's like high school picks you were even ba- you were even bad yeah, then. Yeah. Like, anytime Drake said anything, I was like, <laughs> he likes kids. What? You, it's so like it's so weird. But like I said, also from the shit I've been reading online, all these rappers do fucked up shit. Yeah. Oh, all yeah. Like crazy fucked up. Bro, no, motherfuckers, motherfuckers are literally just ignoring because Kendrick won that Drake said he beats his wife. You know what I mean? Like they're just so like, like unfounded accusations. Also, like I said, working with Kodak Black. Yeah. That's like that's something that I it literally was like, you you're calling this thing a Drake. Uh, like a sex so offender scene, like he's hanging around a f- sex offender, which she I mean academics. Academic, even like Baka and shit. Yeah. But like, bro, if you dug into any celebrity, you find something you don't like. like yeah. So that's why that's why I always say you should never have like we should never you can like their music, go to their concerts, buy their merch and stuff. Like that's cool, but like we should never idolize. You don't need to like idolize. Like you don't need to because when they're a bad person, it might it might actually change. It'll fuck with you. It'll fuck yeah. with you, right? Yeah. You kind of change it for the better where it's like, okay, you know, they don't, you don't want to like actually support. Unless it's J. Cole, like his water bill. It's, yeah, yeah, bro. You're going to wash his hands. Yeah, it's too humble. But anyways, no, like you can either change or like you become, you change you in a bad way where it's like, now you're trying to like justify the actions because you like to so much. Yeah. So that, that's the thing. But um, anyways, um, let us know in the comments um, what you guys think of the whole situation. Like are people, do people think it's, you know, it's free reign on Drake. Y'all can do whatever you want. Um, what do you say? But what do you think of that? I think it's weird, man. Like, like, uh, like, least like the candidate should drop. Now everyone just feels like, yeah, dude, I don't get it. I don't. What did he like? What like what specific? Like, it's just. But I feel like it's always like, like it's very like, this. In this situation is very generic. It's like if everyone was like, "Yo, dog, I got you." Yeah, like literally everyone. Yeah. When Kendrick doesn't need the help, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Kendrick doesn't need the help. Or even like, like, like the other day I saw like Big Sean in the room. He was like, "I would love to, I would love to battle Kendrick." And I quote you, and I was like, yo, Drake, I got you. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's it's interesting. So just overall interesting. I feel like this, this is going to be happening for a while now. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, let us know what you guys think about that topic.